Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. There you go. He was going to get you anyway. I saved you. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be checking out some games. Actually, a game, particularly Doom 3. So let's get started. Now I saw this on Reddit a couple of days ago, somebody playing Doom 3 on Raspberry Pi and I'll leave a link to his video down in the description below. And I thought it was super interesting and something I wanted to try out myself. But unfortunately, he didn't really give any instructions on how to do it, but he did leave a GitHub link on his description. So I decided to follow along with that and see how far I could get. So if you guys do want to install this on your Raspberry Pi, I will leave a link actually to my website that has the tutorial on how to do it. So you could just copy and paste and follow along. If you guys are just interested in how the game performs and everything, here's a time code right here. So you can just jump to that. So with that being said, uh, let's get into it. So a couple of things you do need, you do need to own either a copy of the game or actually the demo now, the newest, the latest version could allow you to play the demo. So you could use the demo. Uh, Raspberry Pi 4 with two gigs of RAM or more because you do need a minimum of 256 megabytes of RAM just to run the game. So one gig of RAM minus 256 is very little. So I rather prefer the two gigs or more. I'm using a four gigabyte version. Uh, it takes about two gigs total if you're doing the full version, so two gigs of space. Definitely some sort of cooler because we need to overclock the GPU on this thing. We also need to compile SDL2 and compile the game. So with that being said, let's get into it. And so the first thing you're gonna need to do is actually get the whole system up to date. So we're gonna do a sudo app get update. Next, uh, we have this whole list of repositories or uh, libraries that we need to install so we can compile everything. So here's the big list. Again, just copy it from my website. It's much easier that way. Once you're done with that, we need to download SDL. So we're going to HC clone it. It's HC is pretty much like Git. So we're going to be cloning the library of SDL. When that's done, we're just going to jump into the directory. We're going to auto gen and then use this configure line. And then we're going to get into making it. And then we could do a sudo make install. Once that's done, we have to download three extra libraries, which is the image, mixer, and TTF. We're going to have to compile each one of those using auto gen, configure, and also we have to make a make install for each one. And that's it. We basically installed SDL. It wasn't too hard. The original SDL that comes with Raspberry Pi 4, uh, it gives me a little bit of an issue. So I wasn't able to use that. That's why I had to compile the SDL from scratch. Now, once we're done with the SDL, we're ready to compile the game. So we're going to download the Git, jump into that directory and make a new folder called build. Hop into build and we're going to CMake. So CMake space dot dot. When that's done, we're just going to do another make dash J4, which is using all four cores. This takes about like 20 minutes or 15 minutes or so. So it takes a little bit of time. When this is done, you will be presented with like about four files. You're going to need to transfer those four files to the doom folder now this doom folder you can actually get from steam where if you installed it make sure you have it on a windows computer download uh, doom 3 from steam and in the steam apps you're going to have this doom 3 folder copy that over to your raspberry pi 4 and when you have that folder copy the other four files that we were we just finished compiling over to that same root folder of doom it's basically got to be before the base directory so if you see a base directory and then you see the four files you're fine and now all you have to do is just run the app now i'm using gallium so i could get a heads up display to show you uh, the frames per second and also the cpu usage the cpu is not the bottleneck in this it's actually the gpu and overclocking it to 600 gives you pretty okay performance. I managed to get it up to 620 using over voltage four. So every 10 megahertz gives you about an extra frame increase, you could say. So getting that extra 20 from 600 gives you that extra two frames. Then I actually modified a config file to give me the resolution of 960 by 540, which is still the 16 by nine aspect ratio. Once I get all those configurations in, let's check out the game. Here we go. This is the intro screen, it loads pretty fast. Um, like I said, the CPU is not the bottleneck, so you can see that it's like 50 frames per second, which isn't too bad at all. 50 frames is actually the monitor's rate. It's actually not the, the graphics rate. Um, I'm going to load a game and start it off. So you don't want to see the beginning. I'm just going to skip right to past a little bit of talking. The loading is not too bad either. Um, it's been a while since I played this game. I think I I've haven't really ever actually played this game, but I've touched the demo before back I don't remember, 2009, 2008. But, so I vaguely, vaguely remember what kind of happens here. All right, what is this, Ryan? All right, Ryan. 
You see how well it performs? It's doing like 50 frames per second here. It's not too bad. Once you're loading particles, it drops down to like 20. It's still not too bad, but it's um, very, very playable. Come on, get me in. I'm losing oxygen here. I actually don't know if I want to be in here because this is where the death happens. Let me get my gun ready. All right. Got to get up to a second level. All right, let me get to the next objective first. Did I really have to walk around? Yeah. Huh? Oh, no. Dr. Chan. No. Is he Chan? He I don't know. I just made that up. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't, I, I, 27 frames per second. The visuals are not too bad. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. Oh, I remember what happens here. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. There you go. He was going to get you anyway. I saved you. I saved your life. Alright. See, look. I'm not even, like, affected by this. Hey. See, I, I have an idea about this game. Hear me out a little bit. I know there's ammo here. Um... I bet you, you guys, okay, spoiler alert, you guys watch, um, um, Black Mirror before, where they putting these chips, whoa, they put these chips in these soldiers to make them think that, um, whatever they're shooting, these, these, um, enemies are actually like aliens, oh, that scared me, oh my god. But really, they're refugees. So imagine that I already been possessed in the initial part of this whole thing. And whatever I'm shooting is actually humans. And that I'm the one that's killing everything and I'm the bad guy. I wonder if that's... Okay, it's not bad. Look, 25, 30 frames. I think it preloaded, and now when I'm going through it again, it's pretty smooth. 40 frames. I got you, I got you. No, Ryan. What was that? Oh, I just got goosebumps. Don't do it, Ryan. Don't do it. Oh, man, they take a lot of shots. Oh, Ryan got killed. So far, so good. Getting pretty decent frame rates. Very, very playable. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, shoot. I hate jump scares. I'm stuck. I'm still stuck. Ah, oh, there you go. Let me reload this gun. Oh, what the? <sighs> yeah, uh, I don't want to go there. I think this is more than enough of a demo, but yeah. Oh, did I get shot? No worries, med kit. No, don't take him. Ow. 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 Oh, I'm bad at this thing. That took like a full clip. Whew. So in conclusion, uh, I, I was really impressed in how this game performed. I was actually getting some good 30 plus frames at times. Sometimes it drops when it's loading or too much uh, particles loading into a scene, but it's absolutely playable i mean i haven't gotten to the higher levels where there's like mass creatures coming at me but it's not bad I'm, i was very impressed on how it handles but keep in mind raspberry pi was never designed to be 
a gaming or had a heavy fat and had a very fast gpu to begin with so it wasn't designed to do something like this and to be able to play doom 3 on this type of setup is pretty impressive now on saying that uh when i was doing research on how to get doom 3 working on this i also found out that you could play a, a lot more other games using um fna which is like a wrapper or am i i'm even saying that wrong i don't think it's a wrapper but the fna allows you to play microsoft xna games which there are a lot of and those are the type of games i actually really like i'm not even sure if hyper light drifter is a xna game i don't think so but it's similar to that type of game anyway i want to know what your thoughts are about this if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button if you guys have any other games that you want me to test that we that actually has source code and something i can compile uh write in the description below because i've been testing a bunch of stuff with this and i'm, I'm having a lot of fun actually getting games to work um, I will want to try this on something like a Kadaz board where they have a fast GPU just to see how it performs. So I'll put something up like that on soon. I might also make a time demo so it might roll up in my lineup of benchmarking. So when I benchmark Raspberry Pis or other boards and stuff like that, I'll throw in Doom 3 as a GPU benchmark. Anyway, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.